doing? Doing pretty good. Good. What can I do for you? I wanted to report a code violation. Um, maybe you guys could take care of it. Okay, for... Uh, it's campaign signs. Marsha Gregory has campaign signs up in violation of uh, both state statute and in violation of federal law even and in violation of Springerville uh, code. Okay, you want to go next door to the planning and zoning uh, lady right next door to Chris? No, I wanted to make a complaint. I can't take the complaint because her husband works here. Her husband's my sergeant. That's fine. I, I'm not asking him not to take it. But it's a criminal complaint. It's a city code complaint. Is that correct? Um, it's a violation of law. That makes it a misdemeanor. That's not a code issue. Okay. I'll probably have to get another officer down here. That's to that's today. fine. Okay. Hang on. So you can't take a report because it's a conflict of interest? Yes. I then, we don't want it to look like it's, we're covering up anything. That's why you, before I even got any information for him, I contacted Eager. That was him on the phone. That was Chief Hogan. And he stated that he, due to the conflict, that he is going to investigate it, and he's in the middle of that. He, he's in the same position I am. Do you know who put these signs here? Um, having an zoning person because they were at a um, no sign section. I guess the, the planning and zoning. So, uh, so all of these signs have been removed from town property because they were already someplace where they weren't supposed to be. Correct. Okay. That's curious because I mentioned this to the police chief just now, five minutes ago, and he seemed to not know anything at all about it. He's the only one up there, and I'm the only one down here right now. And uh, Marsha Gregory's husband is the officer on duty down here right now. So you can see I haven't even contacted him and let him know. So well, Why not? Because it would be a conflict for him to investigate it. His uh, he should be aware of the fact that there's something that's illegal going on. That's why we're on. staying away from it, so there's nothing... Uh, how, how, how then is he going to remain in his position if she's the justice? If, if there has to be a, a, a line between the two of them, how's he going to ever be able to present a case in court? We've, we've, had, we've had that with her being an attorney. We have other officers appear or... Actually, he hasn't, we haven't run into that problem, to tell you the truth. I understand that because no one can testify in his behalf if his wife is a judge. Okay. Well, we worry about that when that time comes, though. You know, and then we... Well, I'm worried about it right now, considering that, that this attorney doesn't even know federal, state, or local code. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm very worried because... The only thing I can say is... No one not, wants to <clears throat> take a report. We did take a report, didn't Chief Hogan take a report? He said that was an eager. That was an eager. This is Springerville. I understand that. That's why he's taking the case because it is a conflict. So we this is I, I, I want to put something on paper is what I'm saying. I want to have something on paper saying that Springerville is advised, is aware, and you know, if the signs don't disappear it by will tomorrow. Be Chief, Chief's Hogan report that, that we contacted him. You'll be able to get that DR number and, and uh, go from there. Okay. All right. If well, you, that, I, if I, you have problems with the signage, if if, I, if the get, signs yeah. are still up tomorrow, it's not going to reflect very well on either this department or the. If uh, you let me the, finish, if you go to our attorney. planning and zoning over here, they enforce our town code laws on signage and stuff, and she would be able to help you all. Correct. And the person that's responsible for the violation should be held responsible for a misdemeanor. I mean, if if that's three signs, that's six misdemeanors. For Are you running against her, or what? What's all the animosity for? I mean, you can just tell me. And I'm going to, I'm trying to help you here. You know, animosity. You know, I, I I have animosity towards anybody who's a trained attorney and doesn't follow the law. Okay. It doesn't matter what their last name is or what election they're running in. Okay, and we're working on it. I will get her husband in here and see if we can't get him moved and go from okay. there. I mean, I'm not saying I'm not going to help you. I'm just saying the way the police departments work, so there's no anything saying that we're trying to cover up something because it's one of our own or, or somebody that works here or a family member or something. We immediately turn it over to another department. If uh, I was the 
uh, if, if you if you were driving drunk down Main Street, uh-huh. your your yeah, officer no. your officer wouldn't pull you over. No, no. If I was driving drunk on Main Street, my officer pulled me over. That's correct. They would call another officer from another agency to handle. So there it. would be an incident report. That gener- there would be an incident report generated regarding yes. that officer response. Correct. That's what I'm trying to do here. Okay, uh, all I want is there to be an incident report indicating that this that department is, that this department's been informed. That's all. Okay. Okay. What I will do is I'll give you a uh, witness statement. You can fill out that. That sounds fine. And that's fine. Will, but like I said, that's the reason we contact other agencies, and we right. even had it to where other agencies, uh, you know, they work. Some of the officers that would be investigated work so closely with our other officers that we have to go up the line to the state and then I've had DPS come in and investigate some of our problems too, so. But let me grab a witness sure. statement. Sure, that's fine. The location inside, I have a clipboard. Uh, okay. that, you're con- that you're concerned with, we can. Uh, uh, well, actually, any campaign sign up more than 60 days prior to the election is illegal. Because, I mean, any place that they're located See, illegal. We, we're not a, we don't get into election laws a lot here, but we can look it up and, and see. Oh, yeah. It's in the code. 